Good morning and welcome to Hit and Run Candlesticks. This is Rick with Rick's View. We're looking at the SPY chart. Yesterday, the SPY, all it had to do was show some positive trading. We, were, we would have preferred to see the trading up over the T-line and the lower channel line, but we will take what we got. We did close up. Actually, we gapped up with an intraday pullback and then ran back up in the late in the afternoon with a close up over last Thursday and last and Friday note Thursday and Friday was a gap down doji bullish in golf and then yesterday was a gap up this is a very bullish combination uh, chart pattern in the trading world this doji bullish then a gap up if you'll note the morning futures are up quite a bit already so bulls let's get ready to rock and roll and ride here uh, what we need to see today now is just simply close up over that upper trend line and the T line. I'd be very happy with that. Of course, if price was to move up to the 34 and then to the 50 day simple moving average, that would just be a fantastic rally day and we should all be putting some money in our pockets. So we'll watch what happens today. What we do not want to happen is for price to close back down below the T line and this lower trend line what we're trying to do here is build a supportive rally we need to pull ourselves up get up into this area above the t-line and the lower trend line and that'll give some confidence to uh, traders slash investors to continue putting money into this market and continue to trade uh, price higher for the bulls so it's once again as yesterday it's all about the close what is the close going to do the most important hour of the day will be the last hour of trading today because it will be important for that close to be back up in this area okay let's take a look at a couple of charts we haven't done this in a couple of days let's look at CWT try that again TR CWTR is a chart that was pointed out uh, we've looked at it a few times this past week and then one of the members in the trading room pointed it out yesterday I had forgotten about it <clears throat> and a few of us got into this it's up very nice uh, we have an entry of a dollar thirty one so that that puts us in a, uh, a good area good good area for a good profit and it could put us in a good area for a stop stop is also good on this um, HGSI this might be one that somebody might be looking at we've been holding this one now for a couple of days uh, it's moving up the trend line, uh, T line, making a nice T line run. Had a big move three days ago. It's consolid consolidated the last three. I guess big move four days ago. Consolidated the last three days ago up up above the T line. Still looking like it's going to move higher. And let's look at one more. Uh, we'll take a look at this S I M G. Yeah, S I M S I M G is working out well here we have a nice t-line run you can see where the two has come up over the t-line and it hasn't looked back for the last week as we have these moves up and then consolidates this is great buying opportunity moves up consolidate great buying opportunity and now you can see it's moving up again we're still looking for the 200 day as a, the 200 day simple moving average as our target when we get back up there, we'll reevaluate the chart and look for the next target on what we should do with it. I want to say thank you to everybody for being here. As a reminder tonight, as is all Tuesday nights, we have our member e-learning, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. And watch for announcements for next week. We will be doing a scanner class. We will be giving away two-week trials uh, and possibly more on the scanner class. I will up, update you as we get closer. Uh, thank you very much. Have a great trading day. See you in the trading room.